It's a dancing sun. Have you ever seen a sun dance? Each child has different issues, so we might be working on something different with each child. What are you doing? Are you teasing me? With Brooke, she had a bleed in her brain when she was born. She was very premature and she doesn't use the right side of her body as well as the left side of her body. Oh, you're going to put in there? The ladder simulates a floor ladder, kind of like they would use in football where you have to step over these obstacles to get to the end. It gives them an actual challenge so they can't drag their feet, they can't just kind of walk through it. They really have to lift their knees and step over it. At the beginning of the semester um, at NG120, we were pitched this project of helping the therapists at PTC by developing um, a device to replace what they called lily pads, which ended up being these half inflated rubber discs um, that just weren't meeting their needs. But when we actually came and talked to the therapists here at PTC, we realized they actually wanted to replace this floor ladder system that they have. Um, their floor ladder is currently falling apart. It's really old. They can't stand it up. Um, the kids can take out the slats and it just doesn't meet the adjustability that they require for the kids here. We created a floor ladder for the Pediatric Therapy Center in Houston to help children with disabilities learn to walk on uneven surfaces. Wait. Now, go red. Good. Put your foot in there. Good. Yellow. <gasps> nice. Yellow. Pick your foot up, get it in the yellow. Yay! All right. I love the red and yellow colors. How about you, Brooke? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, step out, babe. You can do it. See? Yay! You're a superstar. I've been working on it for a whole year up to now. And it's like, it's just so touching to see a little kid using our, using our device and taking those little steps and working really hard. And it's like those little steps will eventually help them probably take bigger steps in the future. <gasps> Most of our team is doing engineering. So we have a Mechi, a BioE, we have a Civi, we have a um, Com Sci major, and then um, I'm doing architecture. I think this kind of opportunity can only um, be found at Rice because because we're a small school and like you get to meet a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds and not just backgrounds but majors as well so I don't just hang out with architecture students all the time I also get to know like comp sci majors or bioes and like civvies and so it's a very unique experience to be found at Rice especially to be able to work on like an engineering design project as a freshman I think that's super cool. Yellow. Good. Beautiful. Wow, it was so wonderful to see it um, complete and see Brooke walking through the ladder. It's the first time I've seen it. We've been working on this project now for two semesters. Um, every week we put in maybe 40 to 50 hours a week. Um, there was a couple weeks recently where we put in 150 hours as a team over the course of two to three weeks. Um, having put so much effort into this project, it really, Everything paid off when Brooke took those steps. Oh my gosh.